Many of us believe that celebrities must be attractive. We accept that it is a natural occurrence that the rich and famous will be more attractive than the average person. But this belief, while mostly true, is not based on evidence. I wanted to figure out why are celebrities so attractive? Is it merely a coincidence that most celebrities are incredibly attractive? Or is something deeper at play here? What I found goes much deeper than the surface level belief that celebrities must be attractive. The answer relies on the world of psychology, entertainment, and most importantly, business. This is going to be a wild ride. Before starting the video, please consider smashing the like button and subscribing. Even if you think you're already subscribed, double check and subscribe if you aren't already. It's free and you can always unsubscribe. We will start our research by looking at the world of entertainment before the invention of social media. In this prehistoric world, entertainment is ruled by the television, radio, and movie industry. This in turn created a class of celebrities dedicated to making content for their chosen medium. On a side note, for those who are wondering, at this point in time, video did not kill the radio star. In a pre-social media world, the fundamental reason why celebrities are so attractive comes down to a psychological concept called the halo effect. I could end the video right now with around 70% of the original question being answered, which I am inclined to do. Just kidding, this video isn't at 10 minutes yet. The halo effect is a psychological principle that explains the idea that positive impressions of a person or a brand in one area can positively influence the perception of other areas. To give an example, let's say that you walk into Starbucks for your morning coffee when you see an attractive looking female reading a book. Due to the woman's attractiveness, a positive attribute, you are more likely to associate the woman with other positive attributes. Perhaps you believe that the woman is trustworthy, for some unknown reason. You have never met her. You have no reason to believe that the woman will be trustworthy, other than the fact that she is attractive. This is the halo effect at its finest. The same principle can be used to explain why celebrities are so attractive. When a celebrity is attractive, their audience is more likely to associate them with other positive attributes. Their audience is more likely to perceive the celebrity as trustworthy, charming, interesting, and the overall embodiment of a perfect human being. No, Danny DeVito, I'll get to you in a second, okay? These are all traits that are essential for being a celebrity. In this way, seemingly unattractive celebrities have a disadvantage over their attractive colleagues. This isn't to say that unattractive celebrities can't make it in Hollywood. It's just much easier for attractive celebrities. Attractive celebrities simply have to work less hard to get their audience to pay attention to them. And in celebrity culture, attention is everything. The halo effect is the most important reason why celebrities are so attractive. But that's not the end of the story. The existence of the halo effect directly causes the second reason why celebrities are so attractive the existence of escapism. Escapism can be defined as the tendency to seek distraction from unpleasant realities. Numerous studies have been done that link the desire for escapism with the consumption of media. In other words, in certain situations, we consume media because we want the chance to escape from reality. In our unconscious desire to escape the realities of day-to-day -day life, we want to watch attractive people. Because of the halo effect, we perceive attractive people in a more positive way. This in turn makes it easier to realize the escapism we so desperately crave. This idea should come as no surprise. When given the chance to pay attention to someone who is attractive versus someone with similar characteristics who is conventionally thought of as unattractive, most of us will pick the attractive person. It's simply how the world works. 
There is a reason why it is called the entertainment business and not just entertainment. Entertainment is a business. Yes, the actors, musicians, and celebrities that we know and love are important for the industry, but so are the agents, producers, directors, and designers that shape and manage productions. Without business, there is no entertainment. Make no mistake, entertainment companies' primary motivation is to make money. Celebrities rely on other people conducting business. There is no Mariah Carey without her agent, publicist, makeup artist, backup singers and dancers, production assistant, and music producer. There is also no Mariah Carey without the radio jockeys, entertainment executives, and directors that decide whether her music is played to her audience. You see, entertainment is full of gatekeepers that have the power to make or break a celebrity's career. Whether it be through access to media channels, or access to lucrative production and sponsorship deals, gatekeepers have an immense amount of power on what media is consumed. Getting on these gatekeepers' good side is essential for all celebrities, but most aspiring celebrities don't want to resort to degrading and horrific acts in order to please gatekeepers. So what's the next best thing? Take advantage of the halo effect. When you are an attractive celebrity, gatekeepers are more likely to have a positive bias towards you. They may believe that you are a better actor or singer than you actually are, or they may just realize the sad truth that attractive celebrities are generally more marketable than unattractive ones. Hence why the first person who I will be signing to my record label is, drumroll please, Danny DeVito. Attractive celebrities have a distinct advantage. They will get the movie roles, label deals, and brand sponsorships that their unattractive colleagues could only dream about. Now you may be asking, with social media, gatekeepers are no more. Does that mean that attractive celebrities have lost their advantage? The answer is complicated and requires a further look into the impact of social media on celebrity culture. In an ideal post-social media world, everyone would have a fair shot at being a celebrity. With a little bit of hard work, luck, and timing, you should be able to build a massive audience. For the most part, this is true. With social media, traditional gatekeepers have been completely removed. Anyone can open up a social media app and upload a video or picture for the world to consume. This power cannot be understated. The average person today, using just a cell phone, can theoretically reach a larger audience than any television network. The only thing stopping you from a large audience is… the almighty algorithm. Because an inconceivable amount of content is posted on social media each day, social media networks use algorithms, powered by machine learning, to determine which content is shown to its users. These algorithms use a variety of factors to determine what to show each individual user. In other words, algorithms have direct control over what we see on social media. Wait, this uh, reminds me of something. Oh, I think the algorithm is a gatekeeper. That's right, the algorithm serves as the ultimate gatekeeper for the social media age. And just like the gatekeepers of the good old days, algorithms have needs. One of these needs is more important than the rest, watch time. Watch time is generally considered to be one of the most important factors towards getting your video promoted by social media algorithms. And it makes perfect sense why. When people enjoy something, they tend to watch more of it. Social media networks want their audience to enjoy spending time on their platforms so watch time is a natural measure to base which content to promote. In the social media age, celebrities are those who are able to master the skill of getting their audience to watch them as much as possible for as long as possible. This in turn creates a distinct advantage for attractive people. Just like in a pre-social media world, 
humans naturally pay more attention to attractive people due to, you guessed it, the halo effect. Yes, conventionally unattractive individuals can command attention on social media, but they will have to rely on more than just their good looks to do so. Post-social media celebrities who are attractive have an easier job increasing their watch time, which in turn means that social media platforms will promote their content to more people. Despite promises of social media being an equal playing field for all, in reality, attractive people have a noticeable advantage over their competition, just as they should. I certainly don't have any problems with the majority of celebrities being attractive. I view the situation as an unfortunate example of supply and demand. Due to psychology, entertainment, and business, the demand for attractive celebrities is much higher than the demand for conventionally unattractive celebrities. A large supply of attractive, talented actors and actresses are eager to fulfill this demand. But, as I have said before, it is obviously still possible for traditionally unattractive individuals to become celebrities. Some are more naturally suited towards becoming celebrities, but the everlasting goal of becoming someone worthy of the attention of the masses is open to all, if you so dare to pursue it.